Pressure symbol, P or P, is the force applied perpendicular to the surface of an object per unit area over which that force is distributed. Gauge pressure, also spelled gauge pressure is the pressure relative to the ambient pressure. Various units are used to express pressure. Some of these derive from a unit of force divided by a unit of area, the SI unit of pressure, the Pascal pa, for example, is 1 newton per square meter. Similarly, the pound force per square inch psi is the traditional unit of pressure in the imperial and U.S. customary systems. Pressure may also be expressed in terms of standard atmospheric pressure, the atmosphere ATM is equal to this pressure, and the tor is defined as 1 760th of this. Manometric units such as the centimeter of water, millimeter of mercury, and inch of mercury are used to express pressures in terms of the height of column of a particular fluid in a manometer. Definition Pressure is the amount of force applied at right angles to the surface of an object per unit area. The symbol for it is P or P. The IUPAC recommendation for pressure is a lower case P. However, upper case P is widely used. The usage of P versus P depends upon the field in which one is working, on the nearby presence of other symbols for quantities such as power and momentum, and on writing style. Topic. Formula Mathematically P equals F A Display style P equals FRAC F A where P Display style P is the pressure F Display style F is the magnitude of the normal force Display style A is the area of the surface on contact. Pressure is a scalar quantity. It relates the vector surface element, a vector normal to the surface, with the normal force acting on it. The pressure is the scalar proportionality constant that relates the two normal vectors. D F N equals minus P D A equals minus p n d a display style d math b f f underscore n equals p d math b f a equals p math b f n da the minus sign comes from the fact that the force is considered towards the surface element while the normal vector points outward the equation has meaning in that, for any surface S in contact with the fluid, the total force exerted by the fluid on that surface is the surface integral over S of the right-hand side of the above equation. It is incorrect although rather usual, to say, the pressure is directed in such or such direction. The pressure, as a scalar, has no direction. The force given by the previous relationship to the quantity has a direction, but the pressure does not. If we change the orientation of the surface element, the direction of the normal force changes accordingly, but the pressure remains the same. Pressure is distributed to solid boundaries or across arbitrary sections of fluid normal to these boundaries or sections at every point. It is a fundamental parameter in thermodynamics, and it is conjugate to volume. <laughs> Units. The SI unit for pressure is the Pascal pa, equal to 1 newton per square meter n per square meter, or kilogram m minus 1 s minus 2. This name for the unit was added in 1971, before that, pressure in SI was expressed simply in newtons per square meter. Other units of pressure, such as pounds per square inch and bar, are also in common use. The CGS unit of pressure is the Barry ba, equal to 1 dyne cm minus 2, or 0.1 pascals. Pressure is sometimes expressed in grams force or kilograms force per square centimeter gram per square centimeter or kilogram per square centimeter and the like without properly identifying the force units. But using the names kilogram, gram, kilogram force, or gram force or their symbols as units of force is expressly forbidden in SI. The technical atmosphere symbol at is 1 kilogram force per square centimeter, 98.0665 kilopascals or 14.223 psi. 
Since a system under pressure has the potential to perform work on its surroundings, pressure is a measure of potential energy stored per unit volume. It is therefore related to energy density and may be expressed in units such as joules per cubic meter, J per cubic meter which is equal to pa. Mathematically, P equals F times distance A times distance equals work volume equals energy J volume M three display style p equals frac f times text distance a times text distance equals frac text work text volume equals frac text energy j text volume text m caret three. Some meteorologists prefer the hectopascal (HPa) for atmospheric air pressure, which is equivalent to the older unit millibar (m bar). Similar pressures are given in kilopascals (kPa) in most other fields, where the hecto prefix is rarely used. The inch of mercury is still used in the United States. Oceanographers usually measure underwater pressure in decibars (dbar) because pressure in the ocean increases by approximately one decibar per meter depth. The standard atmosphere (atm) is an established constant. It is approximately equal to typical air pressure at Earth mean sea level and is defined as 101,325 pascals. Because pressure is commonly measured by its ability to displace a column of liquid in a manometer, pressures are often expressed as a depth of a particular fluid e.g. centimeters of water, millimeters of mercury or inches of mercury. The most common choices are mercury Hg and water. Water is non-toxic and readily available, while mercury's high density allows a shorter column and so a smaller manometer to be used to measure a given pressure. The pressure exerted by a column of liquid of height h and density ρ is given by the hydrostatic pressure equation P equals ρ gh, where g is the gravitational acceleration. Fluid density and local gravity can vary from one reading to another depending on local factors, so the height of a fluid column does not define pressure precisely. When millimeters of mercury or inches of mercury are quoted today, these units are not based on a physical column of mercury, rather, they have been given precise definitions that can be expressed in terms of SI units. One millimeter of mercury is approximately equal to one tor. The water-based units still depend on the density of water, a measured, rather than defined, quantity. These manometric units are still encountered in many fields. Blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury in most of the world, and lung pressures in centimeters of water are still common. Underwater divers use the meter sea water MSW or MSW and foot sea water FSW or FSW units of pressure, and these are the standard units for pressure gauges used to measure pressure exposure in diving chambers and personal decompression computers. A MSW is defined as 0. 0.1 bar. 100,000 pascals 10,000 pascals, is not the same as a linear meter of depth. 33.066 FSW 1 atmosphere 1 atmosphere 101,325 pascals, 33.066 3064.326 pascals. Note that the pressure conversion from MSW to FSW is different from the length conversion, 10 MSW. 32. 6336 FSW, while 10 m. 32.8083 feet, gauge pressure is often given in units with g appended, e.g., kpag, barg, or psig, and units for measurements of absolute pressure are sometimes given a suffix of a to avoid confusion, for example, kpaa, psia. 
However, the U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology recommends that, to avoid confusion, any modifiers be instead applied to the quantity being measured rather than the unit of measure. For example, pg 100 psi rather than p equals 100 psi g. Differential pressure is expressed in units with d. Appended, this type of measurement is useful when considering sealing performance or whether a valve will open or close. Presently or formerly popular pressure units include the following Atmosphere ATM Manometric units Centimeter, inch, millimeter, tor and micrometer M -tor, micron of mercury Height of equivalent column of water, including millimeter MH2O, centimeter CMH2O, meter, inch, and foot of water Imperial and customary units Kip, short ton force, long ton force, pound force, ounce force, and poundal per square inch Short ton force and long ton force per square inch FSW feet sea water used in underwater diving, particularly in connection with diving pressure exposure and decompression Non-SI metric units Bar, decibar, millibar MSW meters sea water, used in underwater diving, particularly in connection with diving pressure exposure and decompression Kilogram force, or kilopond, per square centimeter, technical atmosphere Gram force and ton force, metric ton force per square centimeter Barry dyne per square centimeter Kilogram force and ton force per square meter Steen per square meter piece. Topic Examples As an example of varying pressures, a finger can be pressed against a wall without making any lasting impression, however, the same finger pushing a thumbtack can easily damage the wall. Although the force applied to the surface is the same, the thumbtack applies more pressure because the point concentrates that force into a smaller area. Pressure is transmitted to solid boundaries or across arbitrary sections of fluid normal to these boundaries or sections at every point. Unlike stress, pressure is defined as a scalar quantity. The negative gradient of pressure is called the force density. Another example is a knife. If we try to cut a fruit with the flat side, the force is distributed over a large area, and it will not cut. But if we use the edge, it will cut smoothly. The reason is that the flat side has a greater surface area less pressure, and so it does not cut the fruit. When we take the thin side, the surface area is reduced, and so it cuts the fruit easily and quickly. This is one example of a practical application of pressure. For gases, pressure is sometimes measured not as an absolute pressure, but relative to atmospheric pressure. Such measurements are called gauge pressure. An example of this is the air pressure in an automobile tire, which might be said to be 220 kilopascals 32 psi but is actually 220 kilopascals 32 psi above atmospheric pressure since atmospheric pressure at sea level is about 100 kilopascals 14.7 psi the absolute pressure in the tire is therefore about 320 kilopascals 46.7 psi in technical work this is written a gauge pressure of 220 kilopascals 32 psi where space is limited such as on pressure gauges name plates graph labels and table headings the use of a modifier in parentheses such as kpa gauge or kpa absolute is permitted in non si technical work a gauge pressure of 32 psi is sometimes written as 32 psi g and an absolute pressure is 32 psia though the other methods explained above that avoid attaching characters to the unit of pressure are preferred gauge pressure is the relevant measure of pressure wherever one is interested in the stress on storage vessels and the plumbing components of fluidic systems however whenever equation of state properties such as densities or changes in densities must be calculated pressures must be expressed in terms of their absolute values for instance, if the atmospheric pressure is 100 kilopascals, a gas such as helium at 200 kilopascals gauge 300 kilopascals absolute is 50% denser than the same gas at 100 kilopascals gauge 200 kilopascals absolute. 
Focusing on gauge values, one might erroneously conclude the first sample had twice the density of the second one. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Scalar nature. In a static gas, the gas as a whole does not appear to move. The individual molecules of the gas, however, are in constant random motion. Because we are dealing with an extremely large number of molecules and because the motion of the individual molecules is random in every direction, we do not detect any motion. If we enclose the gas within a container, we detect a pressure in the gas from the molecules colliding with the walls of our container. We can put the walls of our container anywhere inside the gas, and the force per unit area the pressure is the same. We can shrink the size of our container down to a very small point becoming less true as we approach the atomic scale, and the pressure will still have a single value at that point. Therefore, pressure is a scalar quantity, not a vector quantity. It has magnitude but no direction sense associated with it. Pressure force acts in all directions at a point inside a gas. At the surface of a gas, the pressure force acts perpendicular at right angle to the surface. A closely related quantity is the stress tensor sigma, which relates the vector force F to the vector area A via the linear relation F equals sigma A Display style math BFF equals sigma math BF a. This tensor may be expressed as the sum of the viscous stress tensor minus the hydrostatic pressure. The negative of the stress tensor is sometimes called the pressure tensor, but in the following, the term pressure will refer only to the scalar pressure. According to the theory of general relativity, pressure increases the strength of a gravitational field, see stress energy tensor, and so adds to the mass energy cause of gravity. This effect is unnoticeable at everyday pressures but is significant in neutron stars, although it has not been experimentally tested. Types Fluid pressure Fluid pressure is most often the compressive stress at some point within a fluid. The term fluid refers to both liquids and gases. For more information specifically about liquid pressure, see section below. Fluid pressure occurs in one of two situations. An open condition, called open channel flow, e.g. the ocean, a swimming pool, or the atmosphere. A closed condition, called closed conduit e.g. a water line or gas line, pressure in open conditions usually can be approximated as the pressure in static or non-moving conditions even in the ocean where there are waves and currents, because the motions create only negligible changes in the pressure. Such conditions conform with principles of fluid statics. The pressure at any given point of a non-moving static fluid is called the hydrostatic pressure. Closed bodies of fluid are either static when the fluid is not moving, or dynamic when the fluid can move as in either a pipe or by compressing an air gap in a closed container the pressure in closed conditions conforms with the principles of fluid dynamics the concepts of fluid pressure are predominantly attributed to the discoveries of Blaise Pascal and Daniel Bernoulli Bernoulli's equation can be used in almost any situation to determine the pressure at any point in a fluid the equation makes some assumptions about the fluid, such as the fluid being ideal and incompressible. An ideal fluid is a fluid in which there is no friction, it is in viscid zero viscosity. The equation for all points of a system filled with a constant density fluid is P gamma plus V 2 2 G plus Z equals C O N S T Display style FRAC P gamma plus FRAC V carrot two two grams plus Z equals Mathem const where P equals pressure of the fluid gamma Topic Rho G 
Density acceleration of gravity equals specific weight of the fluid. V equals velocity of the fluid. G equals acceleration of gravity. Z equals elevation. P gamma display style frac p gamma equals pressure head. V two two g display style frac v caret two two grams equals velocity head equals topic applications equals hydraulic brakes artesian well blood pressure hydraulic head plant cell turgidity pythagorean cup topic explosion or deflagration pressures Explosion or deflagration pressures are the result of the ignition of explosive gases, mists, dust, air suspensions, in unconfined and confined spaces. <laughs> Negative pressures While pressures are, in general, positive, there are several situations in which negative pressures may be encountered when dealing in relative gauge pressures. For instance, an absolute pressure of 80 kPa may be described as a gauge pressure of minus 21 kPa i.e., 21 kPa below an atmospheric pressure of 101 kPa. When attractive intermolecular forces e.g., van der Waals forces or hydrogen bonds between the particles of a fluid exceed repulsive forces due to thermal motion. These forces explain ascent of sap in tall plants. A negative pressure acts on water molecules at the top of any tree taller than 10 meters, which is the pressure head of water that balances the atmospheric pressure. Intermolecular forces maintain cohesion of columns of sap that run continuously in xylem from the roots to the top leaves. The Casimir effect can create a small attractive force due to interactions with vacuum energy. This force is sometimes termed vacuum pressure, not to be confused with the negative gauge pressure of a vacuum. For non-isotropic stresses in rigid bodies, depending on how the orientation of a surface is chosen, the same distribution of forces may have a component of positive pressure along one surface normal, with a component of negative pressure acting along another surface normal. The stresses in an electromagnetic field are generally non-isotropic, with the pressure normal to one surface element the normal stress being negative, and positive for surface elements perpendicular to this. In the cosmological constant, Stagnation pressure Stagnation pressure is the pressure a fluid exerts when it is forced to stop moving. Consequently, although a fluid moving at higher speed will have a lower static pressure, it may have a higher stagnation pressure when forced to a standstill. Static pressure and stagnation pressure are related by P 0 equals 1 2 Rho V two plus P display style P underscore zero equals frac one two Rho V caret two plus P, where P zero display style P underscore zero is the stagnation pressure. V display style V is the flow velocity. P Display style p is the static pressure. The pressure of a moving fluid can be measured using a pitot tube or one of its variations, such as a keel probe or Cobra probe, connected to a manometer. Depending on where the inlet holes are located on the probe, it can measure static pressures or stagnation pressures. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Surface pressure and surface tension. There is a two-dimensional analog of pressure, the lateral force per unit length applied on a line perpendicular to the force. Surface pressure is denoted by pi. Pi equals F L. Display style pi equals frac F L, and shares many similar properties with three-dimensional pressure. 
Properties of surface chemicals can be investigated by measuring pressure area isotherms, as the two dimensional analogue of Boyle's law, π A equals K, at constant temperature. Surface tension is another example of surface pressure, but with a reversed sign, because tension is the opposite to pressure. Topic: <laughs> Pressure of an ideal gas. In an ideal gas, molecules have no volume and do not interact. According to the ideal gas law, pressure varies linearly with temperature and quantity, and inversely with volume. P equals n r t v. Display style P equals frac n r t v, where P is the absolute pressure of the gas, n is the amount of substance, T is the absolute temperature, v is the volume. R is the ideal gas constant. Real gases exhibit a more complex dependence on the variables of state. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Vapor pressure. Vapor pressure is the pressure of a vapor in thermodynamic equilibrium with its condensed phases in a closed system. All liquids and solids have a tendency to evaporate into a gaseous form, and all gases have a tendency to condense back to their liquid or solid form. The atmospheric pressure boiling point of a liquid also known as the normal boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure equals the ambient atmospheric pressure. With any incremental increase in that temperature, the vapor pressure becomes sufficient to overcome atmospheric pressure and lift the liquid to form vapor bubbles inside the bulk of the substance. Bubble formation deeper in the liquid requires a higher pressure, and therefore higher temperature, because the fluid pressure increases above the atmospheric pressure as the depth increases. The vapor pressure that a single component in a mixture contributes to the total pressure in the system is called partial vapor pressure. <laughs> liquid pressure When a person swims under the water, water pressure is felt acting on the person's eardrums. The deeper that person swims, the greater the pressure. The pressure felt is due to the weight of the water above the person. As someone swims deeper, there is more water above the person and therefore greater pressure. The pressure a liquid exerts depends on its depth. Liquid pressure also depends on the density of the liquid. If someone was submerged in a liquid more dense than water, the pressure would be correspondingly greater, thus we can say that the depth, density and liquid pressure are directly proportionate. The pressure due to a liquid in liquid columns of constant density or at a depth within a substance is represented by the following formula. P equals rho g h display style P equals rho g h where P is liquid pressure G is gravity at the surface of overlaying material Rho is density of liquid H is height of liquid column or depth within a substance another way of saying the same formula is the following P equals weight density times depth display style P equals text weight density times text depth the pressure a liquid exerts against the sides and bottom of a container depends on the density and the depth of the liquid. If atmospheric pressure is neglected, liquid pressure against the bottom is twice as great at twice the depth, at three times the depth, the liquid pressure is threefold, etc. Or, if the liquid is two or three times as dense, the liquid pressure is correspondingly two or three times as great for any given depth. Liquids are practically incompressible, that is, their volume can hardly be changed by pressure water volume decreases by only 50 millionths of its original volume for each atmospheric increase in pressure. Thus, except for small changes produced by temperature, the density of a particular liquid is practically the same at all depths. Atmospheric pressure pressing on the surface of a liquid must be taken into account when trying to discover the total pressure acting on a liquid. The total pressure of a liquid, then, is rho gh plus the pressure of the atmosphere. When this distinction is important, the term total pressure is used. Otherwise, discussions of liquid pressure refer to pressure without regard to the normally ever-present atmospheric pressure. 
It is important to recognize that the pressure does not depend on the amount of liquid present. Volume is not the important factor, depth is. The average water pressure acting against a dam depends on the average depth of the water and not on the volume of water held back. For example, a wide but shallow lake with a depth of 3 meters 10 feet exerts only half the average pressure that a small 6 meters 20 feet deep pond does. Note that the total force applied to the longer dam will be greater, due to the greater total surface area for the pressure to act upon, but for a given 5-foot section of each dam, the 10 feet deep water will apply half the force of 20 feet deep water. A person will feel the same pressure whether his, her head is dunked a meter beneath the surface of the water in a small pool or to the same depth in the middle of a large lake. If four vases contain different amounts of water but are all filled to equal depths, then a fish with its head dunked a few centimeters under the surface will be acted on by water pressure that is the same in any of the vases. If the fish swims a few centimeters deeper, the pressure on the fish will increase with depth and be the same no matter which vase the fish is in. If the fish swims to the bottom, the pressure will be greater, but it makes no difference what vase it is in. All vases are filled to equal depths, so the water pressure is the same at the bottom of each vase, regardless of its shape or volume. If water pressure at the bottom of a vase were greater than water pressure at the bottom of a neighboring vase, the greater pressure would force water sideways and then up the narrower vase to a higher level until the pressures at the bottom were equalized. Pressure is depth dependent, not volume dependent, so there is a reason that water seeks its own level. Restating this as energy equation, the energy per unit volume in an ideal, incompressible liquid is constant throughout its vessel. At the surface, gravitational potential energy is large but liquid pressure energy is low. At the bottom of the vessel, all the gravitational potential energy is converted to pressure energy. The sum of pressure energy and gravitational potential energy per unit volume is constant throughout the volume of the fluid and the two energy components change linearly with the depth. Mathematically, it is described by Bernoulli's equation, where velocity head is zero and comparisons per unit volume in the vessel are P gamma plus Z equals C O N S T display style frac p gamma plus z equals mathrm const terms have the same meaning as in section fluid pressure topic direction of liquid pressure an experimentally determined fact about liquid pressure is that it is exerted equally in all directions if someone is submerged in water, no matter which way that person tilts his, her head, the person will feel the same amount of water pressure on his, her ears. Because a liquid can flow, this pressure isn't only downward. Pressure is seen acting sideways when water spurts sideways from a leak in the side of an upright can. Pressure also acts upward, as demonstrated when someone tries to push a beach ball beneath the surface of the water. The bottom of a boat is pushed upward by water pressure buoyancy. When a liquid presses against a surface, there is a net force that is perpendicular to the surface. Although pressure doesn't have a specific direction, force does. A submerged triangular block has water forced against each point from many directions, but components of the force that are not perpendicular to the surface cancel each other out, leaving only a net perpendicular point. This is why water spurting from a hole in a bucket initially exits the bucket in a direction at right angles to the surface of the bucket in which the hole is located. Then it curves downward due to gravity. If there are three holes in a bucket, top, bottom, and middle, then the force vectors perpendicular to the inner container surface will increase with increasing depth, that is, a greater pressure at the bottom makes it so that the bottom hole will shoot water out the farthest. The force exerted by a fluid on a smooth surface is always at right angles to the surface. The speed of liquid out of the hole is 2 g h Display style script style sqrt 2gh, where h is the depth below the free surface. This is the same speed the water or anything else would have if freely falling the same vertical distance h. Topic: Kinematic pressure. P equals P rho zero. Display style p equals p rho underscore zero is the kinematic pressure, where 
P display style P is the pressure and rho 0 display style rho underscore 0 constant mass density the SI unit of P is square meter per square second kinematic pressure is used in the same manner as kinematic viscosity new display style new in order to compute navier stokes equation without explicitly showing the density rho 0 display style rho underscore 0 navier stokes equation with kinematic quantities u t plus u u equals minus p plus nu 2 u display style frac partial u partial t plus u nabla u equals nabla p plus nu nabla caret 2 u topic see also equals equals notes <laughs>